When the president mentioned global warming in the State of the Union, it got a standing ovation from Democrats and Republicans literally two months ago because it's the first time he acknowledged that there is global warming. And what's happened now is there's an overwhelming consensus. We're going to begin to make some progress. Three things you won over, and I, I, I won't take the time now to go into it, the overwhelming requirement. If I could wave a wand, then the Lord said I could solve one problem. I'd solve the energy crisis. That's the single most consequential problem you can solve. It's what you have to do to get greenhouse gases under control. And that means we've got to have different mileage standards. We've got to reduce our consumption. And we always we do that is have modern automobiles where we invest like other countries are, tens of billions of dollars in research and develop for alternative fuels. I'll give you one little example. I'm going to build to spend $100 million a year to figure out how to build an ion, a lithium, lithium ion battery, allowing for plug-in automobiles. That all by itself would radically reduce the greenhouse of ga gases we admit for a simple reason that seven out of every 10 barrels of oil we consume goes into an inter internal combustion engine. If you just change one mile per year in the next 10 years, the amount of mileage the automobiles in America get, you would end up moving from five barrels consumed down to, I mean, from seven down to five, and so on. So there's a lot of things we have to be doing to invest in alternative energy sources, but it's not enough we do alone. That technology should become a resource we can export. If we had clean coal technology we developed and made the real investment in, we were able to sell it to China. China has all the coal reserves they need. It would free them up from having to buy oil from Iran and from and Somalia, keeping them tied to their foreign policy. They're going to go burn that anyway. It would save the greenhouse gases. We'd have jobs. We'd make money. We should make this a win-win situation. But I tell you, the, the tidewater area of your state and my state in 50 years will be underwater if we, in fact, don't do something about greenhouse gases, it's profound. Sir,